we need safety in the movements of the humanitarian staff, Red Cross, UN, NGOs. Uh, we, need, um, we need respect for civilian infrastructure and civilian population. Unfortunately, many instances of violations of international humanitarian law in the way the airstrikes are conducted that have destroyed or damaged civilian infrastructure, have killed civilians, have impacted humanitarian operations. This is a major displacement crisis, as you all know, um, uh, caused by this situation. Um, the government, um, all these figures are estimates, as you can imagine, especially when it comes to internal displacement, which is difficult to count. Um, Prime Minister, the government has been using 1.2 million. It's likely that it is uh, uh, in this order of magnitude, which is enormous for a country like Lebanon, of course. In many cases, we have already started repairing some of these buildings or other shelters. We have some kits that we can use for that. We have also worked with WHO in providing trauma kits for people that are either injured or have gone through a lot of psychological pressure, especially children terrified by those who come by from areas that have been most impacted by ro the, ro the Israeli rockets. Um, they need also psychological support. Unfortunately, we know what a conflict like this causes to a civilian population. It's horrible. And uh, we see all the catalog of those consequences played out here in Lebanon. We will do everything possible with the humanitarian agencies, including mine. But uh, we do need a ceasefire very quickly. We, know we do need the calls for the ceasefire that the Secretary General, that many, many states have made to the parties to this conflict, just like in Gaza.